Good morning, or depending on what you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of Voice Radio. So today, we need to be taking a look at Cinderace. You see, Cinderace is one of them, they're a Stage 2 Pokemon. And for a long time, we've been saying, well, Stage 2 Pokemon, they're not particularly good, are they? They're not particularly viable, are they? Well, turns out, ladies and gentlemen, that yes, they are particularly good now. And they are particularly viable. Also, when you can get away with playing only seven energy cards in your deck, that's probably going to help. Let me explain. Now, we have multiple Cinderace at the moment, but the main one we're looking at here is the one from Sword and Shield proper. It's also the reason you can get away with playing so few energy. Once during your turn, when this Pokemon moves from your bench to your active spot, you may attach up to two fire energy cards from your discard pile to it. Yeah, that'll help. If you need free energy to attack, and you can just flick it into the active and attach two energy, yeah, that's going to really, really help. And then the attack for two fire, one colorless energy does 190, and then you discard two energy from this Pokemon. But of course, the two energy you discarded will then be reattached when you move it into the active. And we need to go slightly out of order here and mention that the other energy we play is Recycle Energy. For Fire, Free Recycle. You see, what's beautiful about this is that you have a Cinderace in the active. It has got two Fire and one Recycle Energy on. You attack and do Flare Striker for 190 damage. Now, we're assuming Cinderace doesn't get KO'd. Cool. You have it in the active... There is a single Recycle Energy on. You've got a Retreat cost of 1. So you retreat to a Bent Cinderace. You discard the Recycle Energy to retreat, but it goes back into your hand. The new Cinderace attaches two Fire Energy from the discard that you just discarded with your attack. And then you've got a Recycle Energy guaranteed in hand to attach, and then you're doing 190 again. As soon as you get two Cinderace out... You are guaranteed to be able to do 190 every single turn. Unless your opponent... I mean, let's say they KO it, then, yeah, and you don't have a spare. But you don't need to draw into energy. Two energy will be in the discard that you will be able to attach using Libero. And the third energy will be in your hand when you retreat. And you will be able to use it as your attachment for the turn. It's rather silly dumb. And the other thing we need to point out here, this might be a fire deck, but we're not playing Welder. There's no point playing Welder here. You need to attach free energy. Well, generally speaking, with Welder, you attach two energy using Welder, and then you would attach one manually, and that would be enough. Well, here you're attaching two energy using the ability, so why even bother with Welder? And the answer is you don't bother with Welder. That's the point. You don't bother with Welder, you just roll. It is just over the top good. It gets the energy on there so quickly, so easily, and it means you just don't ever have to worry. You are going to have the energy, you are going to do a consistent 190 every turn. Now we'll get the, to the consistency and how it works in a minute, but the Pokemon is a big part of that. Stop me if you've heard this one before. We're playing Free Jirachi. Well, of course we're playing Free Jirachi. Why would we not be playing Free Jirachi? Sits in the active. You look at the top five cards of your deck. You find a trainer card. You put it in your hand. You go to sleep. Jobs are good. Un. And then you use Escape Board to just free retreat. We've seen Jirachi a billion times. It's going to keep coming. The other one we have, and this is a fairly standard thing in non-GX decks, as we suggested it probably would become, a single copy of Oricorio GX. When you have a Pokemon KO'd, the next turn Oricorio lets you draw three cards. Now it doesn't stack, so no matter how many Oricorio you've got out, it's still only three cards. But it doesn't really matter. You're drawing three cards, that's still a good thing. In a non-GX deck, your opponent's got to take six KOs in order to be able to actually win the game. So the first five times they KO you, you get to draw three cards. Now, bearing in mind, that's 15 cards, that's a quarter of your deck, just drawn with Oricorio, that is going to give you some ridiculous consistency right there. 
But what's the I hear you shout? Surely your opponent can gust up and KO the Oricorio for two prizes. They can. They absolutely can. But then they're not KOing Cinderace, who's hitting them for 190 every turn. The other Pokemon we play here, one copy of Ditto Prism Star. I mean, we're playing a stage one. We'll get there in a minute. And we're playing a stage two that can use this. So, yeah, let, let, let's go for a Ditto Prism Star. Quite cool. And then we are playing two, two, nine tails. It's your gusting. It lets you discard two fire energy from your hand and pull one of your opponent's bench Pokemon active. But you see, it doesn't matter. You never need, you like never need fire energy in your hand here. So if you've got fire energy in hand, discard them using this. And also you would obviously then play fire crystal, gets two energy from your discard pile into your hand that you then discard using nine tails to, oh look, gust up one of your opponent's Pokemon. Well, look how that turned out. Now, in terms of trainers here, this is what really rocks nowadays. Stage 2 decks, actually viable, actually good, actually can be played, which is not where we've been since rotation. Yes, obviously we need rare candy to skip the stage 1 step and evolve all the way up from a basic to a stage 2. But we've got Quick Ball and Evolution Incense. Quick Ball searches out your basics. Evolution Incense searches out your Evolution Pokemon. Clues in the name, I suppose, for that one. And now you've actually just got good Pokemon search. And when you combine that with Oricorio for if your opponent takes a quick KO. So if they do get an easy KO on one of your Score Bunny early game, this is going to mean you draw three extra cards. That's basically an extra supporter. That's going to help you get rolling. And you've got Jirachi. This is actually going to work. But the other thing that this deck plays is a full four copies of Acrobike. And the reason is extremely simple. Speed. Look at the top two cards of your deck, put one in your hand, discard the other. If you discard energy, great. Although remember that recycle energy only goes to your hand when it is discarded from play. So if you discard it with an Acrobike, you don't get to put it into your hand. And yeah, there will be turns where you discard, you have to discard your rare candy, but... These things happen. There's not a huge amount we can do about it. We are playing Poker Gear 3.0. Why are we playing Poker Gear 3.0? So we can get our supporters a bit more easily. It really is as simple as that. In terms of supporters, we've got Cynthia. It's a great draw card. We've got Tate and Liza. It's an almost as good, but not quite as good draw card. But it also acts as a switch, which could be huge. We've got Professor Elm's Lecture, which lets you search for free Pokemon with 60 HP or less. Great in the early game. And Poker Gear will help us to find it. And then, of course, we've got a copy of Rosa. And Rosa comes out in these decks nowadays, right? Rosa is a really good card in this format for non-GX decks. Because essentially what you do is you get a Pokemon KO'd, and then Rosa searches a Pokemon and an item card and an energy. Oh, look how that worked out. Well, any trainer card, but you're going to probably get rare candy. Because you see, this is the other thing. If you get a Pokemon KO'd, you can use Rosa to search for a rare candy Cinderace and an energy, incidentally. Now, it is only a basic energy, but still, it guarantees your rare candy stage two. And between Oricorio and Rosa, and then having things like Quick Ball and Evolution Incense to actually search out your Pokemon, we are now in a format where stage two decks are legitimately viable. This is wonderful. Now, in terms of the rest of the cards, very, very quickly, we're playing a skateboard, like I said. We're also playing U-turn board here. So if you don't want to discard the energy off of your Cinderace, you don't have to. We're playing Fire Crystal, as I mentioned, to get energy from the discard. We're also playing Fiery Flint to get energy from the deck, because you need to get them in the discard ASAP. And we're playing that new Fishing Rod card, which lets you recover energy and Pokemon. It, it's pretty gosh darn good, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very good card. And this is a very good deck. It is a viable Stage 2 deck, and it's extremely straightforward. We're only playing one of the three Cinderace. The only real attacker we've got is four copies of the Cinderace from Sword and Shield. But essentially, you just come up and hit 190 every turn. Every turn you hit 190. You force your opponent to take six prizes, 
while you can gust up as you like with nine tails and you're hitting 190 every single turn, the only thing that was going to stop this was that stage two decks weren't good enough. Now stage two decks are good enough. And I'm delighted, but I'd like to know what you think about this fire bunny. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts, be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that and please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash wassy plays where you can find out about a whole bunch of games that don't even have any pokemon in but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would you Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.